The 101st Constitutional Amendment introduced to the nation is the biggest tax reform since independence. It has been almost two decades in the making and brought to the Indian taxpayers, industry and the government as well as common public several benefits when it was implemented at the stroke of the midnight on 1st of July 2017. At the very outset, GST eliminates the tax on tax system, also known as cascading of tax. This would reduce the cost of goods and services. It also introduces uniformity of tax in the country brings transparency between central government and state government, eliminating disputes on subjects like entry tax, e-commerce and allows interstate free flow of goods. For the industries and traders, it eases the movement of goods and also simplifies business operations by removing maintenance of multiple records for various taxes. It results in reduction of compliance cost in terms of time and effort. For the governments, it is expected to increase the revenue collection resulting in better program implementations. GST is a booster for Make in India, where goods and services produced in the country become competitive in national and international market. The technology-driven GST is a great contributor to Digital India. In the normal course, GST is an online, contactless, faceless, cashless and paperless service that can be complied with from anywhere and without stepping out of your workplace. It follows a trust-based approach, provides facilities like self-assessment and brings transparency and accountability to the taxpayer ecosystem. GST is a shining example of cooperative federalism between the central government and the governments in the states. We are now a part of One Nation, One Tax, One Market.